Paranormal Punches is part of the Podbelly Network. Go to podbelly.com for more great podcasts. Hey, y'all. This is Frank the Bigfoot, and you're listening to the Paranormal Puncher. Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Paranormal Punchers, where we do things with our mouths, like talking to these microphones. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it was an off, off, uh, off my comment I made that Nash decided to run with, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am Mark. <laughs> I'm Alicia. <laughs> I'm Nash. <laughs> I'm Dave. <laughs> this time around, we're going to talk about trolls, Norwegian trolls, because last time we talked about werewolves. And everybody kept saying, trolls seem to be even cooler. So we decided, well, we'll just we'll do it. And it gives Dave a chance to talk about uh, something from Norway, because he missed last right. episode. It was a big discussion last time, too. So much content on Norwegian so Werewolves. so much, because I know you don't listen to the episodes. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going oh. to listen to that one, but okay. I haven't gotten to it yet. Uh. Okay. All right. Well, without further ado. Okay. Well, uh, this is from Visit Norway. Um, with Norway's high mountains... Well, you, you should say this in like if you're a tour guide or you're presenting uh, this as a commercial. I'm not very good with accents. I'm sorry. No, no. I, you would just be like, visit Norway. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and well, go. And okay. you're on. <laughs> <laughs> kind of threw you off, didn't uh-huh. it, dear? Yeah, it did. <laughs> this show um, is uh, just rolling yeah. right along here. It's smooth. It flows. Yeah. We're the best. Okay. <laughs> With Norway's high mountains, deep fjords, large forests, and dark winter nights, you can easily see a link to the supernatural. Whatever people don't understand, they need to explain it in one way or another. And trolls were as good as an explanation as any. Was that was that good? That, that was yeah. good. Okay. That was nice. Right. That was nice. Up until the point where you stopped. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, not sure of the exact beginnings of like when trolls kind of came about, but uh, uh, what, 1998 with the internet. Uh... <laughs> no, they're, no, they're much older. <laughs> yeah, uh, but they can be found in the first written sources, the sagas from the Middle Ages. Uh, they were also in oral traditions. Um, and oral. I knew it. Yeah. I, just Nash, I knew you would do that. Well, you were the one doing it with your mouth. <laughs> Apparently so were the Vikings. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> in people's imaginations, even before that time. Now, many felt that nature held many types of creatures, both real and mythological, and that humans lived side by side with them. The term troll actually comes from the uh, Proto-Germanic, which is also called Common Germanic, uh, word trulin, which translates to mean fiend, demon, or giant. Some were described as giants terrorizing entire villages, and others were considered to be small evil tricksters. It is believed that the word troll was used as basically a catch-all term to refer to pretty much any kind of mythological fiend. Kind of like Boogeyman or Boogeyman. Yeah. Now, in general, most trolls were considered to be cruel, violent, unattractive creatures with huge noses, big teeth, and grotesque features. And they were quite stupid and easily tricked. Well, I mean, I, if I was a troll, I would have some problems with humans, too. <laughs> Saying, I'm not attractive, right. I'm sad. I mean, I would start uh, raiding villages. Well, and it's pretty cruel. And for other trolls looking at, at, at each other, they're like, hey, your nose looks great. Mm-hmm. The warts you have on there are really shining out. Right. <laughs> now, if, oh, go. I was just going to say, if they had just used sarcasm, they probably wouldn't have understood. If humans use sarcasm to describe everything, the True. trolls wouldn't have understood, and we could have avoided all the wars. A little oh, sarcasm would have gone a long way. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, regardless if they were large or small, they tended to be similar to humans, especially in the shape of their bodies, with two arms, two legs, and one head, usually. Usually. Uh, They could have as many as three. 
Uh, it was also common for them to have only one eye. Some were much larger than humans, looking bulky and fat, with some, uh, some that were covered in fur. Uh, the small trolls were considered short and stubby creatures, with some that had uh, tails, mm -hmm. and most had frizzy, crazy hair. There is even a version of troll called a holdrafolk that looks the most like a human, except for the tail, and are supposed to be beautiful and seductive, similar to what a siren. Oh, the, the, the uh, lady trolls. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, while there is no single agreement as to what trolls may have looked like, most Norwegians agree that there are basically two types of trolls. The first one, trolls of the mountain and of the forest. The troger, T-R-O-G-R-E. They're generally depicted as large, dumb, and brutish and are said to use connections with nature to uproot trees to use as weapons or to cause ecological disasters such as hurricanes or avalanches. The, well, the hurricanes are just from them passing gas, though. <laughs> That's hmm. how they had ability of the wind. Did you find that fact on the internet? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's on there. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Hurricanes would be quite too large. I would think localized tornadoes would be Like more. a dust devil. <laughs> well, they don't know about size. I mean, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, these are also the types of trolls that like to use riddles to try to keep you from your destination. Uh, these riddles, though, are usually pretty easy. I was going to say, if they're stupid, mm -hmm. yeah. these riddles uh, should be pretty easy to solve. Yeah. <sighs> now, uh, these trolls also annoyed and angered the Norse gods and are linked to the origins of the universe uh, itself. Uh, when Christianity was introduced, they were assumed to have become enemies of the church and would attack priests and uh, destroy churches and things like that. Now, the other type of troll is the troll of the cave, a Troublins. They live complete troll. Yeah, yeah. they they live completely underground and are generally depicted as smaller, even smaller than humans, uh, with large round stomach. And uh, short, stubby arms or legs. They tend to use their connections with nature to baffle or deceive humans. Uh, they prefer to be isolated, but do form families. And they uh, enjoy stirring up trouble for humans, especially on Christmas Eve. These trolls in Norse um, mythology, they stir up all kinds of trouble for humans, particularly around the Christmas season where they will break into homes and throw parties. See, I don't think that's that much trouble if they're going <laughs> to throw a party. Right, yeah. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> well, I also heard a bunch more about the smaller trolls. Go for it. So the smaller trolls, some of them, because they, they stay in communities, mm -hmm. uh, they have been known to be shapeshifters of the smaller trolls. That they they can shift into dogs, cats, pets, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, they can go invisible. They, along the lines of sneaking into your house, they will sneak into your house and sometimes eat the food. Oh. E eat your food. They said while the food is on the table, they'll sneak in and eat the food. And then you will realize that you don't have enough. And I mm. guess that was a thing. Oh. And some trolls eat babies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, the smaller ones, they keep pets, they, they cook, they live underground, they're more, they're a little bit higher intelligence, but they're, they're definitely a little more, not rambunctious, naughty, they... They're mischievous. Mischievous, yeah. they're, yeah. Yeah. yeah, little scallywags. Yeah. I mean, according to the documentary Frozen, mm -hmm. you know, some of them do live above ground, and but... And they're willing to help humans, but only certain humans. Only certain oh, ones. That and makes sense. Hey, hey Dave, it's, it's Nash's thing to uh, uh -huh, I know. <laughs> refer to movies as documentaries. Uh -huh. right. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Just creating some banter here. <laughs> but, but even then, they, I think there's still... I, I didn't find if... And this is kind of, a, kind of a question also, an implied question. That the female trolls, they didn't really fit into either category. Because the female trolls... Well, like what you're saying about sirens, they would mm -hmm. lure men into the forest, yeah. and uh, um, is it? Uh, the, the <laughs> people who came in the forest, they had a name for people who, the men who would go into the forest, they were mm -hmm. called the uh, Bertagna, B-E-R-T-A-G-N-A. They were captured by the females and made slaves to the female trolls. 
So I didn't know if the female trolls were still bigger, if they were like, because hmm. the little ones are like little teeny tiny, almost like right. Pukwudgie size is the yeah. way I envision it. Right. And then the big ones are like super so, huge. Maybe they're just that beautiful. that They're a little hot tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And these guys were like, hey, mama. Yeah. And so they were falling in and they're making little, you know, slaves out of them. It's, it's crazy. Mm. And they would make them. Not just eat babies, but they would steal babies. They were baby stealers, yeah. and they would swap them out with troll babies. Oh, ah. yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the pause when you're like the lure them into the forest, and I wasn't so, gonna go. Yeah, I was gonna go <laughs> somewhere. That I realized it's a family show. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they yeah. just it's make, not really a leap of make imagination. Them into of... slaves, <laughs> and the, the, the troll babies that they swapped into or with the human babies, they're called they're called Bort. The Bort. The, the troll baby is called Bort. Bort. B-O-R-T. So you have a D&D character called Bort. That's my son. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How apropos. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, anyway. Uh, so the first written source was from the um, a famous book called Edda in 1220. But most of the bedtime stories and songs came from Abjornson and Mo, who collected stories from the countryside hey, from 1837 to 1871 in a similar fashion as the Brothers Grimm. Um, and I'm pretty sure the three Billy Goats Gruff, mm-hmm. yep. that was one of their stories. Okay. okay. Um, now, I have one tale. I don't know if anybody has any others, but I thought I would give it to you. Okay. Uh, One tale tells of Ascaladin, the youngest son of a farmer who needed wood from the forest to pay off his debts. Uh, The the first two songs went into the forest, but songs? Yeah. The first two (laughs) sons went into the forest, but came back out with no wood because a troll had scared them off. So Askeladdon went into the forest to do what his brothers could not, armed only with a piece of cheese to keep himself from starving. Okay, I could go with that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. He came across the troll pretty much like right out the gate uh, and immediately pulled out the cheese and with quick thinking pretended it was a rock and squeezed it until the whey com- came out. I would squeeze really hard. Yeah. The the troll was That's like Superman strength. <laughs> the troll was fooled and afraid of this human strength, and the troll offered to help the boy cut some wood. After working hard, the troll invited the boy back to his home for a meal. As he was tending the fire, he pointed pointed to two huge buckets and asked the boy to fetch water. He realized this is Askeladdon. He realized he could not carry such a massive bucket filled with water. So he claimed to the troll that they were too small, and perhaps he should just bring the whole spring instead. The troll didn't want so much water in his house, so they exchanged chores. The boy tended the fire while the troll went to get water to make porridge. Now, once the porridge was ready, the boy suggested they have an eating contest. They ate as much as they could. To outsmart the troll, the boy placed his knapsack underneath his shirt and was filling it with porridge, and the troll never noticed. Once it was full, he slashed a hole in it and continued to eat. Once the troll was full and couldn't eat anymore, the boy suggested that the troll should cut a hole in his stomach so that he could eat as much food as he liked. The troll... Being rather stupid, did so and promptly died. <laughs> the, <Sucker>. boy, <laughs> the boy took all of the troll's gold and silver so that the farmer could pay off his debts. <laughs> and anyway, just a funny story mm-hmm. for yeah. you. Um, yeah, I saw the same story. Did you? So, okay. Yeah. Um, that see, so you didn't read it. What's that? <laughs> you said you saw the same story. Right. It was your opportunity to read that story. Well, she said she had a story. I wasn't sure which one, so I was letting her go first. Kids, Aww. kids. I will pull this car Sorry. over. Kids. Um, <laughs> but I like how the uh, he stabs himself in the stomach and promptly dies. That's mm-hmm. that's not the kind of a wound that... No, is, not usually. Yeah, it's usually, you know, writhing mm-hmm. in agony. Yeah. Just let well, the it, poor troll lie there after stabbing. Yeah, stomach. and it's sunlight that kills the trolls, not a, not a stab wound to the stomach. Right. So Or fire. Or fire. 
Yeah. Now, uh, Mark pointed this out. I missed a part in my my notes here. Um, what do trolls eat? No, oh, uh, famous trolls in history. Oh, you skipped you an point- entire section. No, you you pointed at that. You skipped. You skipped <laughs> yeah, I right know. Over that, and went to the fairy she tale. Come back to Fine. it. Well, you know what? You already brought up that they like to um, eat children. They also like to eat goats. That's a, like a favorite snack or whatever. Anyway, yes, we have some famous trolls from Norse mythology. <laughs> what? All right, let's rock. <laughs> okay. Do you want to just do it? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, uh, the most famous is Dovregubbin. Wasn't he the king? Yeah, he was the, the king. Yeah, he's the king. Uh, from a famous uh, poem, Hall of the Mountain King, mm-hmm. mm. and in, in the play, uh, I guess there's this kid called Pierre, falls in love with a girl, but is not allowed to marry her. So after being forced to leave home for being unworthy, Pierre finds himself in the Hall of the Mountain King, where he is captured by trolls. He upsets uh, the king of the trolls when he refuses to marry the king's daughter and become a troll. So he runs for his life and barely makes it out of the hall of the Mountain King alive. But this is also, everybody knows this song. I think it's been in a lot of movies, but that... Okay. See, it was very important because I am backing up everything you have in that section with more details. Yep. You pointed at the wrong thing. And that was Wagner's opera. Uh, over four parts. Uh, mm-hmm. That was one of them. Uh, some of the other famous songs from uh, the operas, uh, Ride of the Valkyries, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. and uh, it, it, big da, 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 telling da, 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 of da, da, da. Norse mythology throughout the, the four parts. The uh, the Ride of the Valkyries, the only thing I can think of uh, when I hear that, it, uh, the uh, Vietnam movie, Apocalypse Now. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, another one is Hodra. Uh, she is identified as a supernatural female. Um, she's beautiful. Uh, she looks like a human, but she has a tail of a cow. And, and she keeps her cow tail under her. And, she has a, wears a big dress, yeah. and she keeps it. And I think it's uh, what Nash was talking about earlier. But she'll uh, appear in the mountains or the forest, often uh, luring men mm. in, seducing them yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, with her uh, beauty and voice. Mm-hmm. And of course. The men are never seen again. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's because they come become slaves. And then she smacks around with the cowtail. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like a whip. <sighs> Swatting flies. Swatting flies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now there's uh, Noken. It's a vicious and terrifying type of troll known for luring people into watery places and drowning them. Okay. Uh, Noken. Uh, also, the neck. Mm. It's... Uh, Guess what Noka means, or this is his nickname, but I imagine a guy that you call the neck has this <laughs> giant, just thick, uh, swole, neck. Yeah, super swole. swole. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, muscles and veins. He's often invisible, uh, and he could uh, shape shift, like he could look just be a piece of wood uh, or anything just floating around in the water. Uh, he could take the shape of a horse or even a person. Mm. Anything he needs to do to get a hold of his victim. That's right. What if his neck was the other way, like a giraffe? Ooh. That'd be a freaking looking uh, So if he's like in the water and he like... It's not a pa- thick neck, it's a long neck. He like, yeah. he like, he like periscopes up, you know? Right. Yeah. 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 Sometimes uh, he'll appear as an attractive young man uh, playing the fiddle and then seduces women oh. and lures them to their death. <laughs> Goodness. And sometimes... He's in the shape of a pale gray horse. Hmm. Interesting. The man, on, man who sat on him was death. Yeah. <laughs> no, the man rode on the pale white horse, and all the death followed with him. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. I bought this. You know where I was going with that, though. Yeah. 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 Uh, another famous one is Grindel, which is from the story of Beowulf, mm-hmm. which I read Beowulf when I was in school. And I could have sworn he was a dragon, but I guess uh, not. Uh, Sigmund is the dragon. Um, oh. The, he fights Grendel and then Grendel's mother, and then he has to fight the dragon in the third act. So obviously I didn't pay attention very well right. yep. reading that story. Yep. It's all right. I got the condensed version for you, dude. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the story opens in Denmark. King Rothgar 
Rothgar. Uh, made this mead hall, and uh, people were having fun, merriment, and, uh, and uh, Grendel doesn't like all the uh, uh, noise of celebration. So for 12 years, <laughs> he's just going in at night, taking somebody, eating them, and then finally Beowulf comes along he, uh, with, uh, I don't know, a couple men. Yep, he, okay. the the king of the Danes sends a plea to the Geats, which is where Beowulf's from. He comes over, and they all lay like they're asleep, but Beowulf is lying in wait. He's yeah. like Chuck Norris. Grendel gets one of. Uh, <laughs> well, he's not like Chuck Norris because if he was like Chuck Norris, he wouldn't need to do that. Oh nope. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Grendel sneaks up, grabs one of Beowulf's soldiers, eats him, kills him, and then grabs another one. But this human grabbed back and Beowulf ripped or, uh, yeah Beowulf rips his arm off hmm. I'm sure the troll was like holy crap this guy's as bad as Chuck Norris yeah. oh, <laughs> and then uh, the story continues and continues but yeah okay okay all right uh, another one was Ymer Y-M-E-R okay uh, it was often dis- depicted as both a troll and a giant um, and there tended to be a lot of like overlap between the two species mm-hmm. in that area. But um, and then the last one I have here is Hrunger, an- another giant troll with a massive body and a destructive nature from Old Norse texts. So <laughs> yeah, uh, so Hrungnir was born with uh, neither head nor heart. So he had a uh, head of stone. And I guess a heart of stone. But anyway. Uh, How do you I get saw, around? I don't know. I saw a couple of uh, story versions, but one of them goes that uh, Odin mm-hmm. was out riding his horse that had like six legs mm-hmm. and uh, ran into Ragnar, who was, somehow they got started talking about the horse. And Odin's like, well, there's no horse that could even compare to mine. In fact, I'd wager my head on it. So the troll shows him his beautiful horse. And Odin's like, Oh, shit. <laughs> the horse is oh, no. pretty magnificent. So, you know, it's Odin. He's not going to give his head up to this troll. He's not going to lose. He takes off. Well, the uh, troll chases after him. And they end up uh, into the into Asgard. And, you know, protocol. Uh, if somebody strolls in the gates of uh, Asgard, Odin's like, all right, well, I guess come to the meat hall and party. So he does. They're drinking, having a good time. Uh, the troll, Ragnar. Uh, he starts uh, feeling that booze, yeah. a little out of control, uh, being a bit of a D-bag. <laughs> and Thor rolls in. Oh, you can imagine what's about to happen. Uh, Thor's uh, about to crack his hammer down and uh, end this uh, stupidity. And the troll's like, yo, really? You just got to strike an unarmed man? And so, no, uh, yeah, I guess not. So they <laughs> plan a duel to meet on the edge of... Uh, gods and anti-gods where their planes okay. get together. So uh, the troll's there. He's got like a, I guess, a weapon made out of stone or whatnot. Uh, he's waiting for Thor and then boom, thunder, lightning and everything. And Thor rolls down, hits him in the head with the hammer so hard that stone from the troll's head uh, lands and in, impenetrates, in impenetrates? Oh boy. Embeds <laughs> into <laughs> Thor's head. <laughs> he kills the troll. It falls on to Thor. And it's so heavy, Thor can't even get it off. But then uh, one of Thor's sons, or both his sons come, and they help get the troll off of uh, Thor. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And then Thor gives the troll's horse to one of his kids. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Along the same lines, uh, you know, in the, the Edda, there's two versions of that, the poetic and the prose. And uh, there's all the stories of Thor and the, the Norse gods and whatnot. And they talk about how uh, Thor went on a campaign against the trolls. And the way they did that um, in the Marvel movies is they used the alternate name for the trolls, which would be giant, which is Jotun. Right. Yes. So Jotunheim is mm-hmm. his campaign against the trolls. Interesting. Well, that comes up in my next thing, uh, which is... <laughs> I stole that one. From no, 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 no. No, <laughs> uh, no I'm glad you... Because I didn't have like like a paragraph for okay. it. So, uh, uh, Ways to drive out or combat against trolls. Monier. <laughs> <laughs> well, that solves everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the first one is trickery. 
just like the eating competition story that I gave you. Um, so if you're able to trick them and get them to cut their stomach, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> The well, but next... it sounds like it's pretty easy to do. So any Apparently. like the basic magic tricks you're going to do with like a four year old kid or a three year old right. kid is going to work on a troll. Right. Now, uh, the best way t- is to ring church bells. Mm-hmm. Trolls are considered unchristian beings, and they go crazy when they hear the church bells and they run far away. So if you want to get rid of them, you just ring some some bells and they'll go away. Not just any Which bells. comes into play. Mm-hmm. For the yeah. movie we're going to talk yes. about on the yeah. second half. Yes. Yeah. Uh, trolls are also repelled by lightning, which kills them. Thor. Yeah, and this is because <laughs> of Thor and his many uh, campaigns and adventures. Nice. Yep. So, thank you. Yeah. Because that's all I had. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I'm glad you, you filled them with that. Um, some legends attest that uh, trolls will turn to stone when they are exposed to sunlight. So, distract them long enough. To let the sun rise, and that's how you defeat them. <laughs> so, and did that happen in uh, the Lord of the Rings? Uh, some trolls, re- or no, the Hobbit. The Hobbit mm-hmm. when he's out in the forest, and yeah. the, the sun came up. And- yeah. 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 So anyway, I just have some miscellaneous things that I wasn't sure where to put it in my notes. So, well, I, I actually have a potential sighting. Ooh, okay. go yeah. for it! <clears throat> now, in uh, September 9th of twenty eighteen. There was a guy, this Gabriel Gatehouse, uh, was... Um, that doesn't sound made up at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Definitely a uh, uh, comic book starter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gabriel Gatehouse. Hey, he, Bruce Banner, meet Gabriel Gatehouse. He was leaving <laughs> some, this place called the Culture House. Now, I don't know what that is, but it sounds like a cult. A place in Stockholm. Oh. Maybe maybe a bar. I don't, oh, okay. I don't know. Who knows? It could be uh, whatever. And right outside the culture house was a billboard. And there's this billboard of uh, it was this, this person's face on the billboard. It went to a long, <laughs> detailed political description of who this person was oh, on the billboard. Okay. And I was like, why are they talking about this? Um, <laughs> now, there were, but there was a giant, supposedly a giant was sticking a piece of paper to this, this, this billboard. Um, now... I don't know if the bill, it didn't give me the, the the logistical details I needed weren't there. Was the billboard on the side of the of the culture house? Was it like a where it was like a ground level or was it up in the air? I don't know. But this giant took a piece of paper and stuck it to just above the eyebrow on this person's face on this billboard. Did he draw a penis on it? No, <laughs> just a piece of paper. Oh, <laughs> just stuck I just like I thought maybe he's being a prankster. You right. said right. it was a political figure I, on the I, billboard, so yeah. I thought the troll was like, you know it, what? I'm going to troll. I'm a troll, and I'm going to troll this billboard yeah. in real life. Right. <laughs> and, and it said that the paper said like uh, it, it said like. It was like no something or no no away or it was hmm. the, what it said didn't translate well and a uh, guy witnessed it and then the, the troll took off into the woods and the guy said well I, I think that was a troll oh. and that's really the only recent sighting that I came across <laughs> let me guess yeah. he didn't have his phone on him no no phone and that's why I'm wondering is the culture house a bar I don't know. <laughs> I, ah, I just he's don't. coming out of the culture house. Yeah, yeah <laughs> a quote unquote bar. Who knows? Came mm-hmm. out and somebody was gr- putting graffiti or doing something up on this this billboard, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Hey, man, that's a troll." Oh, could geez. be. Could be. Yeah. But that is really the only one I found. Okay. Yeah, yeah I didn't find any. So. But you have to believe to see. Right. That's right. And there was there was a couple of pictures. There was a couple of images from like 1942. Uh, there was a, tr- a mountain troll photo. Uh, that was taken uh, 300 miles from Bergen in 1942, and you can see the troll in the distance. Mm. Now, but what the two the two photos that I found the the actual photos of a troll had the same body from of the troll from Troll Hunters that they just superimposed it, or if they took one from the other, and ah. and it was the same thing with this other picture. So I had it as as written down there, and then so I, photoshopped. Yeah, because <laughs> so it could have been photoshopped. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So who knows? Who knows? Or troll hunters stole it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right. 
or the or the or the, the media people, the people who are coming up with the poster, stole it from the picture. Mm-hmm. You know, you just don't know. We just don't know that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so uh, I found that most mo- most 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 wow <laughs> most myths agree that trolls can't do magic. Uh, though some stories give the Norwegian forest trolls shape shifting powers, which right. you did bring that up. Yep. Yep. Um, Scandi, Scandi, oh my god, Scandinavian I or scandally clad? So good. I know. I did. I really clad did. Scandinavians. <laughs> Who'd you put in that water bottle? I, it's just <laughs> water. <laughs> uh, Scandinavian troll painting was actually very popular in the 19th century, uh, with several artists that uh, they made a living from painting the creatures. Uh, and then also in the late 1950s, Dane Thomas Dan. That seems like a no. Dane Thomas Dan. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a correct. But anyway, Is he a Dane? Dane Dane Thomas Dan. He's, I don't know. He could be a Dane. Dan- Dan- yeah. Dane. Dane Thomas Dan. Thomas Dan. Okay. He carved a wooden troll for his children and started a craze for ugly troll figures with wild, brightly colored hair, which I had. Yep. When I was young. Um, they were designed to make people laugh, and according to uh, legend, when you laugh, luck follows. Oh, that's Heck good. yeah. I hope everybody <laughs> out there is feeling lucky. I'm sure we made you laugh, right? <laughs> Please. Yeah, you know, um, and trolls show up in D&D. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure if anybody played it, they know that. Uh, large uh, chaotic evil, armor class 15, hit points 84. Walk in the park. Yeah, well, <laughs> then tell me, uh, how can you kill it? A magical weapon or fire. Okay. Because it has regenerative powers. So on its turn, every time around, it gets hit points back. It makes a multi-attack with a bite and a claw, which with a plus seven is almost a hit every time. Right. Yeah. Except how you roll. Yeah. And in D&D, they describe them as fearsome green-skinned giants Trolls eat anything they can catch and devour. Only acid and fire can arrest the regenerative properties of trolls' flesh. Yep. And if they get to zero hit points, they still come back. Unless you hit them with fire. Fire, fire, or fire, 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 fire. <laughs> That's why you don't see many, like, fire trolls. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but the ice You're troll that we stupid. found in yeah, ice yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... they're prolific. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the fire trolls not so much. And on that note, <laughs> why don't we take a quick break, and we're going to come back and talk about the Netflix movie Troll. We'll be right back, and we're back. My God, you guys are talking <laughs> off air about the stuff I want to record now. Right. Hopefully, you can remember the stuff you were saying. Um, all right. Any final <laughs> thoughts on? Uh, Norwegian trolls. Before we get into the movie discussion, no. well, I I did I did appreciate that a lot of the images I found of Norway where they where you can just be out hiking and there's literally a face carved in the rock, right. like sitting on the ground covered in moss, or there's just they're all That's over the place. Is. Yeah, and I some of them were like the sides of a cliff. You could see that they were like, "Oh, that's a troll face that was right. frozen yeah. in stone," and and you could just go out in nature, and somebody took the time to carve faces into things yeah. mm-hmm. out in the woods. Right. I, I I think that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. All right, Dave, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> Troll the movie Netflix original, uh, directed mm-hmm. by Roar. Uthog. Didn't he do the wave? Yeah, <laughs> he did do the wave. I love that movie. That's a great movie. I and know. Tomb Raider also. Uh-huh. Which Tomb Raider? <laughs> the 2018 one, I think. Yeah, 2018. With Vivica? No. Fox? No. No, no. <laughs> no but she's her name is... <laughs> has a V in it? I'm and... pretty sure it does. I, I didn't write it down. Wasn't but... she in Star Wars? One of them? No, she... Mm. Well, It'll come to me. Uh, but it's not, he did not direct anything with Angelina Jolie. No. Which, Nash, did you say those movies were ass? Angelina Jolie, Jolie ones? Yeah, <laughs> they're terrible. They're oh, terrible, terrible. You prefer the, the 2018 the new, one. The, that's the best one. I'm not saying that the 2018 one was by far a good movie, but I think it's hands, I, I think it's so far ahead of the Angelina Jolie ones. I mean, I think there's some cheesy fun no. uh, with the Angelina Jolie yeah. ones. No. Yeah. Yeah. I never saw the 2018 one, but the the first 
Angelina Jolie one. Were there any like, trampolines going across their, their living yeah. room and all that stuff? Yeah, uh, yeah no. No, thanks. <laughs> it felt like the video game. Yeah. It, mm. yeah. And, and she looked like the part. She and, did look true. like the part, yeah. I, I'll give you that. But well, either way, this director did that's troll. The same, it's the same as Mummy. I put it in the same category as the Mummy. You know, uh, Kevin J asked, and I <clears> said, do you really want to know the answer? But now it's like, what would you give the Mummy? A 1 to 10? 1 to 10. Because you gave uh, Viking Wolf a 7 out of 10. I'm going to amend that. After watching Uh-oh. this movie, I'm going to amend that. Oh. Uh, plus or minus? Plus. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take it from a 7.5 to a, to a 8.25. Just based after, on after the movie watching we're this talk movie. About. Yeah, after watching this movie. It had points in it that I liked about it that I wish were in this one that I, that, that weren't. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like I like this one better than Viking Wolf, You're personally. Wrong. But I think this is... Uh, was better than Viking Wolf. Yeah. Oh, God. You're well, all wrong. All right. Anyway, so the, the movie, <laughs> Troll. Uh, I have the it, tagline. Yeah. Hit, hit us with the tagline. Mountains will move. <laughs> all that's, right. That's it? Yep. And then, well, I have a synopsis, too, but that the tagline was. Right. Yeah. Mountains uh, will move. It does open with uh, a little girl and her dad mountain climbing. Mm-hmm. And yep. we got some uh, insane aerial shots yes. Yes. of Norway. And beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. beautiful. And I'm like, I think I want to go I know. there. Oh, I'm Norway's gonna, beautiful. Yeah. Definitely have you been visit. there? I have not, but it's like... The highest on my bucket list. Wasn't it like yeah, Oslo? That's all my bucket list. In the, now in too. the yeah. surrounding yeah. area of Oslo, I think that's it was what beautiful. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The uh, sometimes when I'm working, I just need like background distraction, so I'll put on YouTube. They make 4K traveling through Norway. It's just ambient noise of them traveling and ah. the, the scenery. It's like, oh, this is perfect. Wow, that's cool. I gotta. I'm gonna find that. Actually. How uh, warm does it get in the summer in Norway? I don't know. Average average heat is about seventy five degrees. That's it. Mm. That's about as high as it gets. What's so, their winters like? But ass cold. Okay, mm. yeah. but you get yeah. the northern lights, so it works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I've been trying to convince Stephanie to move to Norway, and, uh, and where are you going to live? Exactly. Well, I'm going to be in Norway. She's not going to be there. No. You know, our show's big in Norway. Mm-hmm. We should all just move to Norway. I know. Yeah. The real estate property. Oh my god! I go to a whole dissertation about like the, the, mm-hmm. the dollar to the, to the. Norwegian, whatever the dollar is, translation. Uh, yeah, we could, we would be doing very well there. Yeah, of course. Uh, now we did two episodes about Norwegian uh, folklore. Yeah, maybe we're not as popular anymore in Norway. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, the whole country hates us for sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right? It stays pretty cold there, but it's a uh, beautiful country. Beautiful country. The summers are actually equal to what it is right now outside. That's as hot as it gets, though. Yeah, uh, beautiful. But they get to the top of the mountain, and the dad's just trying to. Uh, show the daughter the, some mountains that are called like Troll's, troll, 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 troll troll's Tooth. Troll's Tooth? I think something like that. I yeah. think it was something like that. Uh, the Troll Peaks. Troll Peaks. Yeah. That's why I take notes. Why am I not looking at them? <laughs> um, and it's a, but it uh, relays like a, a fairy tale story mm-hmm. that uh, so, uh, there was a wedding and there was 13 trolls and they were partying, got wicked drunk, and the sun came up and turned them in. To the stones, uh, the troll's peak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really liked how they kind of morphed the peak itself into the faces. Mm-hmm. Because you, yeah. you kind of saw something there to begin with, the little spots mm-hmm. where they were. Mm-hmm. And then they kind of morphed it, and then they dialed it back, and you're like, oh, yeah, I can see my imagination doing that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I feel like the, the, the little girl is kind of like, eh. But he's like, you got to believe. And mm-hmm. she kind of like, she kind of just starts she's looking at the mountains. You can kind of see the faces like yep. in there. The very relative to later in the movie. And she has to believe yep. um, to find ways to solve the problem. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that, yeah, we get that, and boom, we're in the modern day. Well, she's grown up. <laughs> um, and uh, she's digging up uh, dinosaurs. She became a, what do you call that? Paleontologist. Paleontologist. Yeah. And that, that T-Rex skull was only, what, two feet under the sand? Yeah. It was kind of yeah. shallow. Yeah. True. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, you found that pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know. And if you look closely in the background, there's an Easter egg of Nick Cage trying to buy it already. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to the guy. And I did have a question about the on the movie with with the whole dig. So the guy came out of his, his little area, his little mm-hmm. camp or whatever it was, talking to the guy about financing the dig. Okay, so they're going back and forth and back and forth. When that scene ends, and it goes to the next scene where she's being introduced, she's coming in to talk to the generals and stuff, she says she financed the dig. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, hmm. and I was a little confused on that. Or maybe she's just trying to take credit. <clears throat> maybe. True. Yeah. yeah. Maybe or that she found the T Rex hole, so she got paid a bunch until she f- continued to finance. Oh, the thing. Well, that would okay. Maybe yeah. saying I, I, I financed it because I found the bones, and then they gave us more money to keep digging. Yeah, right. I was I was yeah. trying to me me me. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, you know, we get we get this moment where uh, there's protesters are digging in a mountain, and I did feel that the movie had a huge uh, overtone uh, or undertones. Of climate change, mm-hmm. uh, being respectful to nature. Mm-hmm. Maybe you don't need to, you know, drill a tunnel through this mountain, mm-hmm. right? which is exactly what they were doing. Uh, Do- Dover? Dover yeah, Mountain? Dover. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, you can only imagine in a movie called Troll, and people are uh, dynamiting and digging holes in a the mountain, there something's you go. bound to come yep. out. Yep. And it did. And then we get our troll. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. I have all kinds of funny odd, oddball questions about it. Okay. You know, uh, when they when she meets in the general, she meets like her her staff guy that follows her around, the guy who's going to be a comic book creator or whatever it was turns into an yeah. author in the end. Yeah. There's a scene when they're talking in with the generals, and he has like a fifth of something. You see a a bottle that he's that it has like, it's like a bottle of booze, in sitting with the general. So I'm like, is that dude drinking? Is he in there getting sloshed in this oh, meeting? Boy. It's probably not easy. Being right? on that council, <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. <clears throat> and then the stealing of jumping into somebody's, uh, tapping somebody's phone without a warrant. At, right. I don't know Norwegian laws that well, but mm-hmm. is that legal in, no. in Norway? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, but if you looked at the footage, the person was dead, so yeah. they had no rights at that point. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got me. <laughs> well, I didn't look at it that way. I just I like, will cross need, off that off the list. We need this hacker, right? That works for the. Uh, government to get that footage to show all these people that uh, are going well maybe it's you know uh, gas <laughs> gas pockets yeah or maybe it's like uh, sink uh, what do you sink holes and i'm like it's shaped like a foot it's a foot right <laughs> and the guy's like ah, was, yeah sinkholes like yeah no mm-hmm. um again that's uh sometimes the human characters uh that were annoying because they're so y- stupid yeah, yeah. You're right they're so over the top for their stereotyping their role yeah, to the mm-hmm. point where we need to, uh, they call it, they go get Nora. Yeah. Like, they just say, oh, we need, well, I don't even know how they got there. Like, we need some scientists that study, you know, she's and a, they land on a paleontologist. Right. Well, she's like a paleontologist, Paleo- biologist, Paleo- or something biologist. like that. That's, yeah. co- that's convenient. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it did work out. But yeah. then when she gets there, she points it out right away. Yeah. Like, is, <laughs> are you kidding me? That They're footprints. Right. And yeah. all the military guys don't want to. Listen to her. Right. Yeah. Uh, making them like just huge. And it stays that way. Pretty, Pretty much. I yeah. think the whole the whole time, especially the one guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that uh, guy. Is just a just a tool. Yeah. yeah. I did I did uh I didn't really care for the I need to go get like the crazy old guy. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. it was the same thing in the werewolf movie. They needed to go get the crazy old guy who knew everything. Right. They had to go do this with this one. In this movie, the crazy old guy was her dad. Was her dad? Yeah. But why did? Why? Because, I, uh, are, I, are we going heavy spoilers? It's on, on Netflix. It's been there for a little while. It has been there. It's been there for over two years, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Well, when uh, they're like uh, certain things are happening, like she's like, eh, "Gotta go get my dad. He's an expert on this. Uh, maybe he can help." She doesn't want to say trolls. Everybody's mm-hmm. still denying that there's like a right. giant <laughs> creature. Running around, they're still trying to like find ways to explain it. They don't want to, but they won't even lean in hard to like. Well, maybe the only thing he contributed was the footsteps stop there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that was a cool scene. <laughs> that was. Where, but I, just, uh, I, was, I was like, we don't need this guy. We kind of laid down to take a nap, mm-hmm. and nobody could see it. But he had like a map. And he's like, yeah, this this is not on the map. This is the mm-hmm. formation. Then an eyeball opens up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually thought that was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the troll was camouflaged because it's like rock and has moss. So it just laid down and take a nap and nobody could figure out where it was. It just mm-hmm. looked like a little bump in the yeah. on the mountain. Yeah, I, I have notes like, why does she need her dad if she knows it's a troll? Uh, I could tell you why she needed her dad. Because when he got killed by the troll and his dying thing, he said, you got to believe. Leading, leading back because she had to convince people like, look, man, this is a this is a troll. Mm-hmm. Right. We need to uh, he got killed. We the need thing to was... fight it with stuff that we've heard uh, in, yeah. in, in legend and lore. Yeah, because right. um, they were like, like there's one scene where the military and then the, the real the the d bag guy 
<laughs> um, he's talking about, uh, hey, man, like, look, we got to be serious here. We got to, you know, use, uh, you know, we got these missiles. And I'm like, you're talking about, and they're talking about nukes. He's talking about, he wants right. to nuke it. Right away, the government's always like, let's just nuke it. Right. right. Yeah. What's, what, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, like, they already tried uh, tanks. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that stuff didn't work. And that's when her dad dies, when the, their first attempt to shoot it uh, right. with, like, uh, bazookas. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, because he stops and stands in front of him, he's like, hey, hey. It's cool, man. It's, it's okay. cool. And Did the troll does kind of, like, kind of chills out a little yeah, bit. It's, yeah. it's almost like he's taming a velociraptor. <laughs> yeah. Right. I, it was very, a lot of this, I, I was like, this is a lot like Jurassic Park in a bunch of different ways. But what was funny in that scene is one of the uh, uh, soldiers uh, was injured, and he was like uh, praying to he had he was holding on to his cross, right. praying to God, and her dad was like, "Uh oh!" Showed her daughter. They all kind of, they all kind of like we split. Need to, we <laughs> need to go because <laughs> uh, the trolls like sniffing. He's like he smells the blood of a Christian, and everybody else is like, yeah. "Get away! Get away from him!" Yeah, yeah. 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 And, like, they didn't even, yeah like okay, he's gonna let the troll munch on him while you make a your escape, right? Yeah, then there was the, uh, uh, the I, there was a little part, a little misogyny part in there. They went back. After, out of the second meeting, it was her going, no, it's a troll. Dad was dead, and they reconvened mm-hmm. again. And she's like, no, it's a troll, it's a troll. And the, and the D-bag was like, no, it's not. You're crazy. And they, and they go to the assistant, and they're like, well, what do you think? And he goes like, it's a troll. And they go, oh, okay, well, then it's a troll then. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Is this because she's a woman? What the they, heck is this? Uh, Some of the military guys were really just treating her. Uh, Very poorly. Yeah. Like, yeah. they like yeah, the guys were like, yeah, maybe it's a gas pocket. Maybe it's sinkholes. Yeah. yeah. They were treating her uh, like she was just laughable yeah. right, with her ideas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think she said, look, I'm not going to be able to work with Mr. Sinkhole over here. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I thought, that was kind of funny. But I guess, again, uh, we needed to be shown that... They're not willing to accept mm-hmm. that it's troll, right? Right. And it's some type of creature they can't explain it, so we'll just nuke it. Because mm-hmm. we all know how well, that works out with giant creatures when oh, you yeah. shoot it with a nuke. It's right. fine. You just make it more powerful. Mm-hmm. Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it so it kept going. It kept going. Then there was kind of the 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 not really a training montage, but a little slowness happened right then. And then it was time to and, and the movie's not a long movie. No, it's only one, like uh, hour forty three. Not even that. I thought it was an hour and a half. I thought it was even credits shorter. Oh, gave it a little yeah. extra. There. Yeah, and they had an end credit scene, but we'll they get did. To that. I I looked for it. Oh, it's because Netflix went to a trailer and they didn't let me watch yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, really? I hate when Netflix does it. Yeah, it's like maybe I want to watch. I the even credits. I even went to the very end to look to see if it was there, and it still kicked me to a trailer and won't let me watch it. Um, <clears throat> this is where, this is where for me the movie really died off where I made it so I didn't like it is the movie went from like you have to believe and reverence and you know all this thing about the troll and appreciating the troll and like revering it and whatnot to we got to kill this thing mm-hmm. and they all with that even the, the the girl she was like that everybody was like we're gonna get, I'm gonna figure out and they're like let's figure out how to kill it yeah but at least her plans were following some of a legend mm-hmm. and it would not uh, destroy the entire town of Oslo with a nuke. Right. That's true. So, right. and one of the first thing they try is church bells, and yeah. we talked about that. Right. Yeah. yeah, that they hate yeah. that sound, and they get what four four chopper, uh, chopters 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 uh, <laughs> four choppers uh, with giant bell on it, and it was working. They were surrounding yeah. them, mm-hmm. and then just like King Kong, he just started swatting them out of the air. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just t- I was tallying it up, and then he grabbed one. Yeah. And use it to knock another one. I'm like, uh, oh nope, that's two and three. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but then, uh, okay. There's this little kid that got ice cream and then ran yes. off. His dad's like, don't go too far. I'm like, hey, hey good, good parenting, right, yeah. dad. <laughs> you're at an amusement park full of people that you don't know, and you let your kid run off with an ice cream cone. Yeah. It seems like that's a good way to mm-hmm. lose him in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he sort of does. You know, while the kid's standing there in control. And the, but anyway, the chopper's uh, dad finally finds the kid uh, and grabs him just before the chopper's about to land on him. The troll catches it. And she's like, did everybody see that? The did troll. he? Did you see that? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The troll. Uh, because later in the movie, the the troll king had kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was a moment he's like, no. But also, we talked about uh, trolls eating babies. Yeah. Right. So I guess this kid was above the age of eating. <laughs> right. <laughs> no longer tasty to trolls. Yeah, save right. the kid. Again, we're trying to add, give some. What do you call that? Give some humanity. Right. Mm-hmm. This troll. We need as audience members need to like, like. Oh wait, 
Baby's not all bad. Don't nuke right. him. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that could have that could have shaded it for me, too, because it was like as we were learning that the troll had a heart and could mm-hmm. think. That's when at the same time they're like, okay, we got to kill it. We really got to kill it. And they met King with, Kong. Yeah, they King yep. Kong this thing. And they met with the king of Oslo. You say that's why Stephanie stopped watching it? Yep. She, she just did. knew that, she knew like King enemy. Kong, yeah, she the troll's going to die. She's just going to yeah. die. I, and they went uh, underneath the, the, the king's palace in Oslo. And that's where all the skeletons were. That was were. cool. Yeah, that mm. was cool. Yeah, it was. Uh, was it the? Was it the Queen's Palace or? I don't know. But oh. yeah, it was. Uh, and the guy, uh, it was the royal palace. Yeah. And he said, uh, it's considered like good good luck or something to build, uh, to be built on top of another king's home. Mm-hmm. They built it on the king's mm-hmm. uh, right. mountain. Right. Uh, but then they have this whole. He opens up a door and they're able to go down into the mm-hmm. the right off the garage, deepest of the yeah. mountain. It was like right there in the garage. Right, it's it's like go down, the, go in this door, and you're going to go. There's a restroom right there, and you can go up to the palace, or you go down this door and you go down the long hallway to the skeletons of giants. Mm-hmm. Yep, and uh, he tells the tale how the they lured uh, the quiet. trolls. Oh no, the troll king had. All his family there because he believed in family, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, but they got ambushed. But the king was lured away with one of his kids right. to Dover Mountain, where they trapped him and hoped he would die, but he didn't. Right. Mm-hmm. Which that's the biggest implausibility of anything here. They do all that, and they when somebody files a permit to blow up the mountain to build a tunnel, they don't say. No, that's off limits. Right. Right. Uh, if they, if <laughs> the P and Z department, yeah. right. hello, logistics. This, this Welcome, is, Dave. <laughs> this, this uh, underground uh, uh, lair, or whatever, full of bones. They know it, so the royal palace should have been like, yeah, uh, right. absolutely not right. denied. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because just in case that it didn't that die, we're not awakening it. Military testing or something. Well, it had been it's... trapped in there for like a thousand years, correct? Am yeah. I getting yeah, that number but, right? Yeah, but it's still it's so the same palace. They right. still knew about it. Yeah. And, and even if it was dead, uncovering bones like that, they probably didn't want the public to right. know either. Especially right, with the all the protesters outside. Yeah, that <laughs> well, would have been true. shut down immediately. National yeah. Forest or something. Yeah. Just a protected wildlife right. zone or who knows. Yeah. Whatever. And, you know, if, if it's one of those things where you're going to trap somebody for thousands of years and hope they die... Well, maybe you have some sort of reconnaissance to go in and see that they're actually dead. <laughs> True. Yeah, you, you know, that's like the um, you know, just you the last crusade. You, you have the, the a society that monitors that mountain, right? And that been pa- yeah. yeah, they would just turn into national it. forest land or something like that. You right. can't. It would have been right. like in the, your favorite movie, The Mummy. Oh God! That group that got a for uh, thousands of years were making sure nobody found right. the tomb of Imhotep. Imhotep. Or, or like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And yes. Yeah. The Grail. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was, yeah. Uh, what was her name? They were the something of the Grail. Or the yeah. Grail. Yeah. Uh, they would totally have something right. like that to make sure nobody right. messed with this mountain. Right. Right. You're right. I can see how that made you angry, Dave. But it didn't make me angry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this movie. Well, let's keep going through. I'll give my final thoughts on it. Oh, okay. I thought maybe uh, the one part. I'm like, really? Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's the one, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, she devises a plan. Uh, Nora devise, the, devises a plan, and she needs like the biggest vehicle in the the Queen's. Uh, and, and it's a it's like a freaking a Chevy truck, eighties Chevy or even <laughs> earlier yellow Chevy pickup. Yeah, and, he, and the guy's like, "This is her favorite." Uh, but anyway, they load a s- troll skull, a like, baby skull, to, to lure. Yep, I'm like, ah, oh, okay. I mean, it, visually, I guess it's kind of cool. It's kind of weird. I thought it was a boulder to begin with because I was like, why the heck? I thought it was like, I went back and had to watch it because I was doing something in the middle of it. And I thought, is that a boulder in the back of that mm. pickup? But yeah, because he's making his way to Oslo because he's making his way to his home. His home. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so on the baby skull, that's the footage I wanted to see. Of I wanted to the see fight? them. I want, no, I wanted to see them because it was Nora. The 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 quote unquote nerdy mm-hmm. assistant mm-hmm. guy, and the king. Why is it quote unquote? He was definitely the nerdy assistant guy. Right. Okay. Well, whatever. But <laughs> and and then the guy who had the cane. Right. It was just the mm-hmm. three of them down in there. I wanted to see them load that skull into the back of that pickup. 
Well, they just had a quick reference. All right, now we're going to need some muscle. Because <laughs> I, right. like, I was like, I want to see those three people yeah. load that skull into the back of that pickup. Uh, right? And I can only, like, when the Troll King did get the skull, it was pretty small in his hands. So I'm assuming they were all, like, very younglings. Yeah, right. And that's the right. way, why they're able to ambush and yeah. murder all those smaller trolls. Mm -hmm. Well, there was big trolls in there, too. It, but, the, but there were little teeny tiny ones also. Mm -hmm. But also the trolls were kind of, like, made out of stone. So the, the skeletal structure probably wasn't that important to their their being. So the skulls may be very lightweight. They were just there as a... Well, that's a, what it is. Okay. So like the guy with the cane, just like... Because the, the, <laughs> but these skulls right. weren't turned into stones yet. Because that's how the girls... They were stayed. murdered in, inside the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, no, 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 but if... I, I'm pretty the sure the skull saying, is under the stone yeah. facade. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm saying yeah. the reason that... A thousand year ago, years ago, to ambush, and they would have been using swords, uh, arrows. Right. Like, True. So they were all younglings, they... so they didn't develop to have maybe that tough yeah. stone Possibly. exterior. Possibly. Right. Because obviously tanks and bazookas were just like, he was just brushing it, nothing to him. Just yeah, brushing I was like, off the dirt. I thought that too. They're like, they're all in a cave, and only sunlight can kill a troll, but they're underground. How do all these trolls die? Yeah, they were ambushed. They don't explain it. They just said, and they were ambushed. Mm -hmm. So my yeah. only way of thinking, once I saw how when the uh, troll held that skull, like, oh, it's small. They basically murdered babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's why they led him away with the remaining baby. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because they knew they couldn't kill him. They needed mm -hmm. to trap him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, the, that's what I got out of it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So then they, they lure him out. They lure him into some park somewhere through downtown Oslo, across the river, into a park, and zap him with the UV lights. And then uh, what's right because Nora calls the uh, Captain Chris, yeah. <laughs> right? And he's not going to follow orders; he's going to follow her orders, mm -hmm. right? And then like, hey, it's it's really lucky that you guys have uh, eight of these vehicles with uh -huh. giant UV lights on the back, <laughs> right? Right? And like the biggest breaker box I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm so glad they uh, had them handy. Right? They, what they did is they shipped them in because those are usually Godzilla lights mm. because that's they have all kinds of weapons like that to fight Godzilla. But they just had to ship them and right. import them for this specific need. So, well, yeah, they uh, fire them up and it actually is starting to burn them, mm -hmm. and it's working. And Nora has a change of heart. Yeah, and it, that it was the whole, you know, uh, just respect them and, and believe in them. And wow, this is amazing—the mm -hmm. fairy tale. And then it switched with switches to kill them all, kill the damn thing. And then at the very end, she's like, "Hold on, don't do that." Mm -hmm. Even though I told you to do this, and we yeah. set this thing up together. And then the sun gets them. Right. She pulls mm -hmm. the uh, giant breakers out of the uh, box. We should have sent her across, uh, the, across the park. <laughs> and then uh, there's only just a moment where you're like, okay, now what? She saved the troll, and here comes the sun. Yeah. And yeah. he turns the stone, crumbles down. And I'm sure they're going to build a park around them, and you know, kids can play on the, uh, the dead right. troll. Right. Sure to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> right now, as one does. Yeah. <laughs> you on the post credit scene. So I was thinking that when they when he saw the baby's skull mm -hmm. and he gave out that roar, that that would awaken any other living trolls in the area. He was like calling out to whoever was there. Now I didn't see the post credit scene. What the post credit scene is like? I guess back uh, in Dover Mountain, mm -hmm. Dover Mountain, um, and you see rubble and you hear it start. Broom. Room. And then something just burst up out of the stone. Okay. I'm assuming it's now the youngling that they used to lure him away. Right. Mm -hmm. is now a little bigger mm -hmm. than he was. Yeah. 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 Or the youngling is what came up first, and that's the king. Mm, this was, no. yeah, I feel like this was the troll king. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What I think. yeah. And the royal palace was built on top of the hall of the mountain king. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, that's what I kind of gathered. Right. Um, but also, yeah, I think this was. Uh, his kid is big, yeah. bigger now, mm -hmm. and mad. Right. Mm. But only to be used if this, if uh, Netflix, uh, uh, if they made enough movie with this one mm. to make the next Troll, which right. they cannot call Troll 2. Right. Troll 2 <laughs> is one of the most amazingly bad movies yeah. that it makes it uh, just so much fun to watch. And I think you guys would have rather watched mm -hmm. Troll 2. I'm going to circle back to Troll 2, but... I think uh, I think I could see with every way everybody's uh, looking that I feel I know how the scores are going to go on this movie. So let's just wrap this up, and I'll start with uh, Lish. 
I have trivia for it, Ooh, but... Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. But I can give you my rating. No, trivia first. Okay, all right. So, uh, Billy Campbell, he had a small role mm-hmm. in it. Uh, his character's name is Dr. David Secord. Yep. Uh, so, he's named after... Do you know who Billy Campbell is? Oh, The honey. Rocketeer. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. The, I was going to get to that. The very, very beginning of the movie. Oh, did we just ruin the trivia? No, but I'm getting to it. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, he's named after his role in Rocketeer. Uh, his name was Cliff Secord <laughs> or Secord. Um, and Dave Stevens was the creator of the Rocketeer comic book. And so his name is Dr. David Secord. Uh-huh. So they took both names. Anyway, uh, screenwriter Espen Aachen. He's a huge fan of uh, Rocketeer. And adjusted the character in the screenplay when he knew Campbell was cast. Uh, when first given the screenplay, uh, Campbell received a copy with a fake title, The Rocketeer 2, The Last Flight. Oh, on that's the awesome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's not that fair because he's like, yeah, no, it's, right. it's not about me. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then the only other thing I found, the sound that you hear um, over Oslo when the troll is near mm-hmm. is the sound of flight alert or fly alarmin. It is mostly used to make people known about a uh, coming threat, like a terror attack or a gas leak or earthquake. Uh, this sound is tested twice a year. The last time it was played for real was in Oslo in 2011. Hmm. And um, I just thought it was cool they used the same right. sound or hmm. whatever. But Interesting. So um, anyway, what do you rate this movie? Uh, I would probably give it... Um, I would probably give it a seven... Seven and a half. Mm. But Okay. Nash? I now gotta be lower than Viking Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> now I thought the movie was put together. I thought it was a very, very well done movie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> As movies go, I was like, wow, this is it's gorgeous. It's perfect. You know, I really liked how they put the whole thing together. The story, I I give it about a six and a half. Okay. But this made my Viking Wolf go up to an eight. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you like Viking Wolf more than Troll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dave? Uh hard to say on a number scale. Uh so you can go on a letter. Starting with A and ending in Z and wherever you fit in the middle. That's not how my letters go, but okay. <laughs> um anyways, the uh yeah, so quick diatribe on this. Um <laughs> <laughs> the uh yeah, it, the production value on this movie was a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah. Um, you know, what they went through with all the, the, the scenery, with all the um, special effects, the CGI was really good. Um, but just even like when they're blowing up the mountain, it uh, it's like, okay, I don't know where they got a set location where they could set all that up. I mean, it was a big stage, of mm-hmm. however they set that right. up, and then setting explosives and everything. And then, you know, it just... It just built and built and built, and I loved how they did that. Yeah, it was a that. very well done movie. Right. I don't know what the budget was on this, but I was expecting a low budget thing, and this was much better than I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, the story was intriguing. I liked it. It was a interesting take on a monster movie, like a King Kong or Godzilla or something. Not quite to that level, but the thing that really got me is there was so much redundant, not needed dialogue and stuff and yep. i just kept losing interest yeah and so i would just i was watching it on my tablet sitting outside drinking beer but then oh, i need another beer and i'm like i don't even feel like pausing this. i didn't even I, didn't uh-huh. I was like i didn't go to the kitchen i'll just let it play i know what's yeah. gonna happen here and so and like i got back and i'm like i don't feel like i missed anything you know, some of it you know some of the things yeah. we were just talking about i must have missed um but at the same time it's you know i don't feel like i missed anything okay that's the biggest thing of like i i this was the greatest movie that I never want to watch again. Okay. <laughs> what do you give it? For somebody who hasn't seen it, I would say a nine. You have to watch it. For watching well, it again, I give it, it a we two. We just ruined mo- the movie yeah, for you. But... Right, yeah. For, if for somebody watching it again, I give it a two. Yes. Yeah, wow. I wouldn't. There's no reason hmm. to watch this again. There's no rewatch, yeah. Um, I, I, I feel you on a uh, bunch of your comments. Um, I thought the... Uh, Cinematography looked great. Seeing Norway was like right. a highlight. Gorgeous. Of the movie. Right, yeah. It was gorgeous. Um, 
the CGI on the uh, troll it was really cool. Yeah. yeah. And I liked some of the stuff they did where it could just lay down and take a nap, but it was kind of camouflaged. You, right. would, you'd be right. standing right next to it and yeah. have no clue. Uh, I like because we were talking about trolls and church bells and some of the, trying to use some of that to, to stop this creature without nuking and right. ruining that beautiful right. way right. that we, we, we got to see uh, everything. Uh, so when the troll was on screen and they were trying to do what you would expect the military to do, mm-hmm. like, holy crap, it's a monster. You got to shoot it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when the troll wasn't uh, present and we had to just deal with humans mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. Yeah. and stuff, I was like, it was stale. Just like, move along. Come right. on. Yeah. In fact, uh, I know you didn't like the dad, but at least, at least he was interesting. Because he was a little, a little crazy, and he had all these theories, and but he was one hundred percent right about everything. Yeah, I just right. didn't like the trope of needing the old guy, the exactly. old wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I just thought trope. he was. Yeah. It's, I just thought he was like more interesting than everybody else. Right. Yeah. Uh, so oh. if it just been him and his daughter, uh, yeah, I thought Nora did a good job. Uh, yeah, whatever the actress's name but is. There's um, just a lot of talk that they'll, well, there was one scene where he's trying to explain to the uh, to her dad, the old guy. About his comic book idea, he was like, "Yeah, what? He take, yeah, he takes his head off and throws it at people, and it can bite them." Uh, I was like, I, "I'd read that comic book." <laughs> right. Uh, but a lot of times, especially the military people sitting around the table, mm-hmm. th- it was just so boring. Right. Yeah. Um, and they were so cliche, right. and stupid, right. and you wanted to just smack them upside the head. Like, listen to her before right. you nuke right this thing, which is only going to destroy Oslo, and mm-hmm. it's not going to work. Yep. Uh, listen to her again. It's like when you see something, this creature walking around, mm-hmm. and someone says, "I think it's a troll." Would you believe it if you're looking at it like, "I think you might be right." Right. Yeah. And how could the how could the DBs, the the generals, and the guy how could they not look at the footage and go, "That's a troll." Right. Call it a troll. Call it giants. Call it whatever you want right. to call it. Call it. Call it Steve. Yeah. I don't care. W- yeah. Whatever you yeah. want to call and they it. Do. But Steve needs yeah. taken care of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they do give him a shot to use some of the thing, ways to stop a troll. They do give him a shot, but mm-hmm. they really didn't want to. Yeah. Right. And even at the end, where sunlight's working, the one guy uh, still like they were going to abort the mission to, to nuke it, mm-hmm. and he's like, "No, no, no! Shoot that thing! Shoot it now!" When you could see on screen the lights working. Mm-hmm. Number right. one, I can imagine that that nuke. Well, it wasn't going to work, but it's a, it's really expensive. Right. So when the lights are working on it, you're like, hey, mate, let's uh, save right. that couple billion dollar right. uh, weapon. Let's right. uh, hold right. on to that. Let's yeah. see if this works first. Right. No, he wanted until he got got punched out mm-hmm. by the hacker person. Um, like, all right, she was God. probably my favorite favorite character in the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> and he was my least favorite, but yeah. I think right. he was meant to be like. Every, he was we meant want to you be to hate that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, He's anti everything mm-hmm. that you're. Ho- hopefully, you feel right uh, about the movie. Well, as soon as they added humanity to the troll, right. the troll wasn't the antagonist anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The troll was a plot point. They needed the antagonist, and that was the bad general guy. Yeah. So, but when I'm watching a monster movie, just give me the monster. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And I feel like. That's what was lacking. Right, there right. was a lot of the monster more than I think, um, like the one Godzilla movie that came mm-hmm. out not too long ago. Oh, that first of the yeah, new ones. There was uh, so little Godzilla. Yeah, he wasn't in it very long. So I felt like there was a lot of troll in it, mm-hmm. but um, there could have been more. Yeah. So, so what did you never actually say? Uh, I'm going to just give it like right a five out of ten. Right. <laughs> like it didn't suck. I didn't hate it. I just yeah. felt that there was some stuff that could have been maybe trimmed. Mm-hmm. And there or, could have been more of one thing and a lot less. And like I said, I just did other stuff. I, when it was only humans on screen, I was bored. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When the troll was on screen, it's like, all right, what's going to happen? Right. And I was really into like, let her try to use all kinds of crazy things from right. the, from uh, the mythology of the trolls right. to try to stop it. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. Or befriend, because I, I, I was kind of hoping to that, that towards the end, if it wasn't a big kill kill box that they brought the thing into, that they would leave it out of town and be like, no, go and just go back to where you came from, right. whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, the troll like are, in Harry and the Harrisons. <clears throat> Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was. Get out for. here! Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't care for them. Uh, King Kong killing the killing the monster at the end. Right. That's that's what brought my uh, werewolf movie up. Is that the werewolf went off in the mm-hmm. woods at the end and survived mm-hmm. and was off? Yeah. But watch it for yourself. Make yeah. your own decisions. Because we are not critics. We are not professionals. We just know sometimes we like something and we don't like something. Yep. Right. Uh, tell you what, most of you probably think you would hate. 
but I guarantee you would love it. It's Troll 2. <laughs> and uh, our Patreon uh, uh, supporters said we should do a MST3K of Troll 2, which means we would watch it and Film us watching it. riff on it. Huh? Uh, yeah. I've... And you, I know, you two have never seen it. Never. I've never seen it. So oh, you would be man. in for a, a surprise. Yeah. <clears throat> it's bad. Trust me. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> but it becomes, like, hilarious. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'd be up for it. As Chris Stuckman would say, a hilariosity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, maybe we'll do that for Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I just want you guys to see it. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it. Uh, we're done. If you, if you like the show, uh, drop us a review wherever you listen to the show or Apple and Spotify uh, for sure. But do other channels do reviews? Not other channels. Other aggregators? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you, or just email us. If you yeah. like our, our review. Yeah, we don't need Apple or Spotify to, you know, for reviews. You can just send it right to us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paranormalpunchers.com, you'll find all the ways to contact us. We do have a Patreon for only $1. You get, Dave, what do they get? <laughs> <laughs> Early access, ad-free uh, episodes and supporting us. And if we have cool content. Experimental we'll content. Yeah. You get to see first and looks. And the Discord server. Um, I did say you get to help us pick the movie, but we haven't done that yet, and I think it's about time to let yeah. uh, our Patreon uh, mm-hmm. supporters pick a movie because mm-hmm. we just we had like four bombs in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them weren't that bad, but no, nothing like we're walking away going. This is I'm going to buy this on Blu-ray. Right, right, that's how right. Yeah. right. All right, that's it. Till next time, everybody. Remember, if it's not weird. It's not worth checking out. <laughs>